Scientists are investigating a technology that could help mitigate climate change by reducing the carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere by the production of fossil fuels. It's called carbon capture and storage. Carbon capture and storage is the idea that as you're producing fossil fuels for energy production, you want to extract or capture carbon dioxide that would normally be emitted out into the atmosphere sequestered to basically trap it into a long-term geological storage. We want to put it back in the ground from where it came. Again, the idea is keep it out of the atmosphere, put it back to the ground where hopefully it'll stay there for more or less forever. CO2 is produced under high pressure. It's injected back into the ground, but it's trapped by this impermeable layer of shale and it remains out there until eventually it'll chemically react with the water, the seawater under there, and form various carbonate compounds, okay, form and turn into rock, and will remain there forever. Glenn Sasagawa is studying the world's oldest carbon capture and storage project in the North Sea off the coast of Norway. Since 1996, a Norwegian oil company has been pumping the carbon dioxide they extract from natural gas back into the ground. Wide-scale adaptation I th adoption is, I think, actually a difficult problem. We need to change the way that we produce energy in this country, and it's not going to be an easy process. It won't be cheap by any means. Sasagawa thinks that carbon capture and storage can serve as a bridge technology in order to reduce carbon emissions while alternative energy sources are being developed. We can reduce the additional... CO2 that we're releasing into the atmosphere with these technologies, if they're widely adopted. We need to keep an open mind. I think these whole issues of, again, carbon dioxide, climate change issues, they're fairly complex problems. And we need to have, I think, as many options available to us, technical options, as we're also considering the economic, social, and political issues that come into play.